day. Something else I need to talk to you about. Mm-hmm. Um, your, I mean, Jack and I, your compatriot here, oh, Jack and I. Another one of these. No, no. Another one of these. Well, it's not so much that we... Well, the last time you guys talked together, you came to me and said, you're not good enough for the band. That was, that was the, the that was feedback. Tough love. That was tough love. Um, this, is not, this is not critical feedback. I hope this can be an open discussion. <laughs> yeah, that happens at the start of every criticism you have. <laughs> well, I would or... like this to be a two-way dialogue and okay. for you to help us yeah. help you yeah. and help us understand where you're coming from. You may or may not remember this, but um, so much going on. Like, we've got Robbie Williams last night. Mm-hmm. That we're going to be playing back in about half an hour's time. And mm-hmm. we had Justin Timberlake yesterday, the golf stuff, and busy weekend. We, I can't believe we haven't got to this. Mm. But at about 5.59 on Friday's show, you <laughs> dropped a little bombshell. <laughs> Should I tell you what I'm worried about for you? Nah. Oh, no. I mean... Oh, it's a fear that I know will come true. But now I am worried about it. I'm worried you'll buy a convertible. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been seeing the way you've been going lately. Yeah, yeah. You're close. I've been looking at motorbikes. Have you really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you blow me away sometimes. Who are you? Where's Andy? <laughs> And, and and just like that, it yeah. slipped by and we haven't mentioned it since. Yeah, yeah, was... You can't say you're going to buy a motorbike on the show and then expect us to just go, oh, cool, let us know when you're going for your first rip. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it, it, it literally is unbelievable yeah, by the we'll, pure fact we'll that we're struggling it. to believe it. <laughs> what motorbike are you going for? Like a Harley or a Vespa or like a Ducati? Um, like are you going for like a, like a Ninja? Like a real, like a super bike? Yeah, well, no, I'm not. I'm... Dirt bike? I, I... What bike, Andy, are you getting? <laughs> when you say you've been looking at motorbikes, yes. what models of motorbike <laughs> have you, Andy Lee, the non-motorbike rider? You don't even ride push bikes. The non-two-wheeler. What motorbikes have you been looking at? Um, I'll want to show you a picture of the motorbike. What, is it saved to your cash history? <laughs> what are you going to wear? Are you going to wear leather pants and boots and you get one of those jackets that has the stiff back, the armadillo that bulges out into an airbag when you come off? It's a... Uh... It's called the Cafe Racer is the one I was looking at. <laughs> Andy, it's one thing to enjoy going to cafes. It's another thing to race between them. What's this? It's like a kind of a converted old 1940s it looks military like, bike. It kind of looks like the one Steve McQueen uh, in The Great Escape. What is this moustache done to you? What's it done to your head? Yeah. It's rearranged yeah, it's, your brain. It looks like the one, yeah, it looks like the, the one that Steve McQueen or it's in, in any... Um, World War II film. It's the kind yes, of motorbike it's like a, that, it's uh, like... that the Germans were driving, actually. Uh, <laughs> and look, we've uh, you know put that that what happened back then. Well, in the past, not, but, you're but not it's, buying a German World War II but, motorbike. But it could be quality. It looks German a bit like uh, it looks like you've got. You could have a satchel. Um, like yes. a leather satchel. I plan to. It's very <laughs> hipster. Like, it's very... Are you going to wear, like, a chrome silver open face helmet? Because you can't wear, like, a good normal motorbike helmet. You have to no. wear a retro helmet with that. Are you going to wear goggles? <laughs> like <laughs> aviator goggles? Uh, I hadn't gone... Ski so goggles? I hadn't gone to accessories at this stage. I've just been looking at the bike. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And Jack and I are just like, what do we do here with this? Are you going to wear, like, a, a weathered, like, brown leather jacket? Or are you going to get full leathers? Because your mum will, your mum will want you to get full leathers. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I and leather gloves. I haven't told mum yet. I don't Is this think, for summer? I don't think she'll let me. Oh, look! I after I've I've been concentrating on my bus license. Now I thought I'll get my motorcycle license next. Just because a vehicle exists doesn't mean you need a license for it. <laughs> well, it's nice to have. Your well, there option. are bulldo- bulldozers out there, but you don't need an earth moving license yet. Could be good actually. Well, like, I know we have some time off over summer, <laughs> but you don't have to get every license for every vehicle. But Jack, I mean, thirteen ten sixty. Mm. Here's what I would like to run today. For people that are in my position and Jack's position, really all the listeners of the show, yeah. just going out of nowhere, having shown <laughs> zero interest in motorbikes ever, your whole life, yeah. suddenly you're having a midlife or you've just decided, I want a I motorbike. Hope, I hope it's not a midlife. It means I'm not living very old. You get 70 good years. <laughs> suddenly it's, I want to run a, top, a segment called Surprise, Surprise Motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> Where suddenly out of nowhere, someone in your life has yeah. just decided, you know what? Mm. I'm into motorbikes. <laughs> 13, 10, 60 people calling in. I think you rode a Vespa once in Paris. Didn't you like ride on the back yeah. of a guy that had a Vespa? Uh, but, uh, yeah, and then when I was younger, I rode motorbikes a little bit more at the farm. But, but like a couple of times. Yeah, Not yeah. even your farm. Like, so you visited a cousin and rode a dirt bike. Yeah.